Hello guys and welcome to this Lizardman Shaman Guide. First I'm going through what this video will include and I will have timestamps in the description and on the top comment. So first I'm going through the requirements and then attack styles the boss uses and how to get there, gear setups, cannon placement and killing and some nice tips to know. So the requirements for killing Lizardman Shaman is that you need 100% Shaman House Favor, you need 40 Prayer for Protect from Missiles and Shaman Armor 5. You can get the Shaman Armor 5 by going here at the combat ring where you need to start from number 1 and kill that soldier until you get all of the pieces and then kill number 2, 3, 4 and 5. Five. And after you get all the pieces for the 5 tier, you can drop all the rest so you don't waste any bank space for those. So now on to the attack styles. So the primary attack of the Lizardman Shamans is ranged attack that you can use protect from missiles against. And they also do a poison spit that you can protect against with Shazian armor 5. If you don't use that armor, it will hit you like... 30s, so it's really not recommended to not use the Shazen in armor 5. Then they have a melee attack, there's nothing special to it, they only hit you with melee if you stand next to them, so it's very easy to avoid but sometimes you need to run past them so then they might hit you like 30s and their max hit is 31. Then they also have a jump attack. They only use the jump attack if you're not hugging the wall, so you need to be hugging the wall pretty much most of the time, although I will explain this further soon. They also spawn exploding minions that you need to avoid. Their attack range is two squares, but it's pretty easy to avoid the hits. This explosion hits you like around 10, so not too much but you want to avoid it as much as possible. So, how to get to the Lizardman Shamans? The recommended way is to use Fairy Rings DJR and that is the preferred route to the Lizardman Shamans. There's also a Route 2, which is to teleport to the current, which is not very good because as you can see it's like three to four times longer but the bonus thing is that you only need to bank like once an hour so it's not a huge deal but i really recommend you to use the fairy rings for gear setups at first i started with rune crossbow fury and odium ward and archer's ring eye and with broad bolts and I found out that that is pretty even with the setup where I used Armadillo Crossbow, Amulet of Anguish, Diamond Bolts E and Twisted Buckler. So to profit more I think I would go with Pro Bolts long term and then the rest of the gear doesn't really matter but buy the best gear you can afford. And I really recommend you to have 61 range for Rune Crossbow at least but you can do it with lower range also but if you're lower range I think you will not have enough HP for this because I think you should at least have 30 HP because they can one hit you with 30 ones or you can get stacked like 40 to 60 damage if you're not paying attention so really the gear doesn't matter only maybe if you get crashed which happens these days like quite often i was crashed when i was doing this for 10 hours like around once an hour so that's when the better gear might come in handy and also high range level because then you will do more damage to the lizardman shamans and get the kills and here's a very typical inventory for the first run. So you're going to need your cannon, around 10 prayer potions, 2 to 3 ranging potions, and I highly recommend 2 stamina potions at least. You can see if you need a third one, but at least 2 stamina potions, because I noticed that running all the time makes you get faster kills than trying to switch between walking and running and around one and a half antidote plus plus is enough 
and you're going to use around like one to two k cannonballs an hour so depending on how many hours you're going to do that many cannonballs and i used three monkfish but you can take more depending on how good you are and if you're going to learn you should bring a lot more on the first goes i had bones to peaches tablets but if you have unlocked the spell you should have the runes in your inventory or in your rune pouch in my rune pouch i have elk runes and teleport runes to my house because when banking i go to my house teleport to edgeville from the house glory and then i do my banking in edgeville and then i go to the fairy ring between edgeville and grand exchange and then i have a lunar staff for the fairy rings but you can have a draymond staff or runes for teleport if you're going to use the current teleport and between trips you can leave your cannon shooting at the place and also it will make other people see that the world is occupied but probably nobody will care and crash you anyway so here is how i start killing the lizardman shamans i run to the northwest corner and i place my cannon here so that i can load the cannon while hugging the walls so about the jump attack so the lizardman shamans can jump you if you are in these tiles any of these tiles but if you're hugging the wall meaning you're here's a wall and you're next to the wall in the square this is safe so this area right here this is safe zone you can walk here and they cannot jump you also the safe zone is next to this one so here this is also safe zone so i really like this corner place for the cannon because i can use the safe zone if i'm standing here and i see the minions coming for me i wait for them to come here and when they start making noises i run this way so the range of one minion so the minion is here so it's two tiles two tiles so this is their explosion range so if you're here and here it might seem like it's pretty much the same distance but as you can see in this way it's only two tiles so if you're standing here and it explodes here you will still get hit so this can confuse you a lot in the beginning at least when there's like nine of the minions and you try to avoid all of the hits so after i run here to avoid them i usually stay here around here until they spawn again and then i might run back here and repeat this until they are dead sometimes i like to run this way and then i run back to here and this is very convenient because i need to load the cannon from time to time so here you can see what i do in live play so i run away from the minions i stay here and wait until they spawn more minions then i run away you can actually wait like one second so that they start making the noise and then start running it's especially helpful if there's like nine of them because they start exploding at different times so wait a second run and then wait for more to spawn and try to do range hits as much as you can and like here wait a little and then run away it's very simple when you get used to it and if you fail at it it's not a huge deal they don't really deal much damage to you the only problem you might have is to pick up the loot because then you might have to go to their melee range and you might get hit quite hard the only downside about this corner position is that you have to actually go pull the two other lizardmen shamans because one of them spawns next to the cannon here and one spawns to the east one spawns east of here and one spawns south of here but while doing this for 10 hours i really enjoyed this spot and i always tried to focus fire the one that spawns next to my cannon 
so that way I don't have to pull the other Lizardman Shamans too much and I can like kill the Lizardman Shaman that spawns next to my cannon like a few times before I have to go pull the other ones again. But all in all they're very simple to kill, just protect from range and mostly let the cannon do all the stuff and try to have the Lizardman Shamans in different spots so that the cannon could shoot most of them at the same rotation. You can also move the shamans by making them jump. After you see them jump it takes a few seconds for them to land so there's no threat from them and it's very simple to move the shamans like that. The only problem is that when you do that usually like two or three of them will jump at the same time and when they're in the same tile the cannon cannot shoot them all so it's not very good. So before the end a few good to know tips. You can check the kill count at the soldiers down here and they actually tell you how many lizard men you have killed and how many lizard men shamans so you don't need to keep track of those. And second tip you can check if the pit is free from this guy. I highly recommend you to do it because crashing is not nice but it happens too many times so if you want to be a good guy check if you want to crash don't check but anyway guys thank you for watching i hope this is helpful for you guys if you like this one leave a like and subscribe for more next week i will have a 10 hours of room crafting so stay tuned for that one thanks guys and as always have a great day, Mr. Grauman out.